Hi, my name is Melissa. So you're wondering what to do to get into college. This video will show you a guideline of what you need to do in order to get in. We'll be talking about A through G requirements, SAT, ACT, financial aid, scholarships, and grants. Pretty legit. <laughs> better? It was better. Sounds good. And we're here to talk to you about three key components of having being successful here at Cal and at a majority of four-year universities. So the first one would be academics. The second would be psychological and physical health. And the third would be networking. In regards to academics, there's a very different way in which you study and you are able to succeed at the university level versus in high schools. So one of the number one survival tips is study skills. When studying, it's really great to have a study group to go to office hours or to just review the material in advance. It can make a world of a difference if you start studying for a test two weeks in advance versus 24 hours in advance. <laughs> and also, you're not expected to know everything. The best thing to do is ask questions. So whether it is with your peers, go to your peers and ask them, the ones that know what they're doing and maybe have a better understanding of the material. Just ask them questions, form groups, create an um, online network of a study group, plan to meet and start discussing things. And then even with office hours, just the second component of academic planning that is really important, so once you get to Cal, it's going to be really confusing, all these majors and all these majors that you don't even know exist, and just trying to see what out is out there and what you're interested in. It's really important to go talk to some major advisors and just get some feedback of kind of what you're interested in to match up with possible fields at Cal. And even if they don't have something that you're interested in, you can just create your own major. And if you want to graduate in four years, it's really important to plan out those years according to your major and according to your general ed requirements. Because unlike high school and college, you are sort of your own boss and you to figure out what works for you and what timeline you want to stick to. And also to help you with that process, you have your you have LNS, which is the Letters of Science Advisors, and you can also go to the slash EOP counselors that you know help you with your whole academic planning. So you make best use of the four years or more that you have at Cal. And along with that, part of managing your time and really figuring out what works for you here at Cal is through time management. So calendaring, placing everything for the semester, all your assignments that are due on a calendar, and marking them off as you go along sort of helps. So that when you see that you have three essays due in one week, all of a sudden the three weeks of a break that you had beforehand doesn't seem as short and you're able to structure your time better to promote success. Hello everyone, my name is Ruben. I'm a first generation college student at UC Berkeley. So in this video, we're going to have a conversation about what you need to do in your last two years. In the previous two components, we talked about what you need to do before you get to college, what you need to do in your first two years when you when you in college, and now we're going to talk about your last two years to make sure that you're setting yourself up to have as many opportunities possible in your next chapter of your life. So in this video, we're going to have three very specific conversations. One, what type of courses you need to be taking if you're interested in going into graduate studies. Two, what kind of opportunities you need to be doing professionally outside of academia to make sure that you're building your resume to make you a stronger applicant to applying for those jobs that are coming up. And the last portion is some tips and tricks of people that have successfully completed that transition out to college into the professional or graduate world for us to engage with each other and share some knowledges to help each other and support each other in these transitions that are coming up for us. So I appreciate your attention and I look forward to this video.